Good morning, grandkids. Today, which is long overdue, I'm going to do a mail and gift opening vlog. One of the gifts has been here for so long, I am ashamed of myself, but I've been busy recording. I've been in the hospital. I've, I've been just MIA, relaxing and recuperating. So the time has just gone on and on and on, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I should open gifts in a more timely fashion. Okay, I'm gonna do my mail first. This is, this is a card with a map of Seattle on it. This is from, <laughs> They call themselves the Jarl of Seattle. That's how it's signed. So I don't know who this is from because I don't remember who calls themselves that. Anyway, it says, Hello, Shirley. I wanted to... That's stamped over by the... by the post office and I can't read it. Oh, I wanted to say hi all the way from Seattle. I bought a postcard. I thought a postcard was a good since my cousin and then my daughter wanted you to see how pretty our little piece of home looks, I guess. Thank you for being so family friend friendly the Yarl of Seattle well thank you and your cousin and your daughter that's very sweet I have I have been uh, through Seattle going elsewhere not not the Khajiit elsewhere. Uh, and uh, I wasn't driving, thank God, but I found it so big and trafficy. And But I'm sure there's lots of very nice neighborhoods and, and places around Seattle and outside of Seattle. And so thank you for the, for the sort of close-up map of Seattle. This is from the Holmes family. Ah, nicely typed so I can read it. My name is Zachary Holmes. I am a longtime fan and subscriber to your YouTube channel. You may remember me on Twitter and Discord as Lord Zach Owan. I do remember that name. Well, I have decided to up the game by writing a wholehearted fan letter instead of just ghosting around and asking the occasional question. I'm glad. Thank you. I wanted to say that you have greatly inspired me Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I wanted to say that you have greatly inspired me to continue becoming a YouTuber despite me having more professional goals, such as one day starting my own business, to which I still plan to do after I finish college. Your content always gives me comfort when I need it most, especially during my time in college where schoolwork can take a toll on my mentality. I understand that. Even though I have lost all of my grandparents in most recent times, I sometimes look up to you as a grandma that fills the gap that I have in my life. Well, that's nice. I appreciate it. And a lot of people on my channel sort of feel that way. And that's why they all call me grandma. And that's why 
call them my grandkids. My favorite part of your content will always be your wholesome love for Skyrim. <laughs> wholesome love or addiction. <laughs> Every time I look up, I lose my place. I remember the day that I first discovered El Elder Scrolls and how much time I had invested into the game after playing nonstop, trying to collect weapons, discover new places, and engage in combat. Even though time has gone by, I still, to this very day, play Skyrim. Good for you. Only this time around, I have en enhanced it time and time again with various mods. Me too. Some of which I was inspired to get from your playthroughs. Thanks. Such as the Notice Boards mod. Unfortunately, though, a lot of people have gotten so tired of playing Skyrim that they have resorted to making mods such as No Skyrim a very recent joke mod that breaks the game for fun. What fun is there in that? <laughs> for me, Skyrim will never get old. Oh, me either, buddy. Me either. I hope that it will never grow old for you either. I am very excited to celebrate Skyrim's 10th anniversary, and I suppose part of celebrating the Big Ten was to write this letter. Thanks to one of the greatest Skyrim players out there. Oh my goodness, thanks. I am very excited to see you celebrate Skyrim's 10th anniversary as well. Well, there's questions about that. I have, I hope you have really great plans for November 11th. I don't. I would like to thank you for working hard to create content every day for your subscribers and viewers. Every day your videos bring us joy and entertainment and as a fan of your channel I felt that the best way to show it was to show it was to write this letter with as many words as I can think of to make your day. Oh, well you have. May you have a wonderful time and a happy 10th anniversary of Skyrim. Sincerely, Zachary Holmes. If you would like, you may show my pictures in the mail and gifts video. And he, I, and this is the pictures on the bottom of his letter. I suppose that's his cat. That's our precious Skyrim. And I'm assuming that that is you. Thank you very much. That was a very sweet letter. I always appreciate mail. Here's another card. This one is from Las Vegas. Very nice. Hello, Internet Grandma. I hope this card finds you well. Thank you so much for keeping up with your videos during the pandemic. Well, it's easy to keep up with them during the pandemic because I'm just sitting here at my computer. <laughs> it has... It has given me something to smile about. Well, good. Love, Aaron. I can't. Tattled Maiden? I'm not sure if that she's saying that's her online name or what. Well, it's got a question mark behind it. I'm not sure, Aaron, what you mean down there. But thank you for your card. I appreciate it. This letter is from Hunter Pearson. 
Oh, he's here in, in Ohio. Ah, another nicely typed one that I can read. Dear Shirley, it's been a while since I sent, since I last sent you a letter. In fact, I believe it was almost a year and a half ago. Fortunately, I did get the letter that you sent to me around Christmas time last year, and I still have it on my nightstand. <laughs> After all this time, yeah, that's uh, was among the letters I sent out as my New Year's resolution to answer all the mail that had legible return addresses that I had received. It was a huge big packing box full, but I got through it. Now, I'm st now I've been starting, since then, I've been keeping every, every piece of mail I get separate in its own other box. Thank God it's still small. I should start Maybe that'll make that my next, this coming year's New Year's resolution. So I was wondering how you've been since then. I know you've probably been up to quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you don't have to go over everything. What have been some highlights in the past year? How many of your New Year's resolutions have you met so far? I only made that one, and I met it totally. Also, do you play any instruments or ever thought about picking up one? If not, what are some of your favorite songs? Be it now, from your childhood, or whenever. I'd be more than happy to hear whatever you want to talk about. Any life advice to give? <laughs> I'm the last person on earth to give any life advice. <laughs> and as far as playing instruments, uh, I used to play piano. I took lessons when I was a child growing up and had a piano then. And uh, uh, I played the piano a little bit in church. That was a long time ago that I played. And uh, I haven't played any since then. I haven't had anything to play on. I did have a keyboard once, but I gave it to my granddaughter a long time ago. Uh, I doubt if she ever even played it. She used to like to play on it when she was at my house. Uh, so I've never had anything to play since. I used to think I would like to play uh, guitar, an electric guitar, but I never did. And I have often through the years wished I had a keyboard. Uh, to keep up my uh, playing ability, but I never did get another one. And I've not really had any room to have one set up anywhere. You can see behind me that my walker just sits out in the middle of the floor. <laughs> I, I can't stash it away in a corner or in, anywhere because I don't have any corners or walls for anything or shelves left for anything. Everything's full. Uh, music. I like all kinds of music, except I don't like country western. I like jazz. I like soft jazz. I like heavy metal. I like rock. I like all the, uh, I don't know what you'd call them, like Leonard Skinner and all those guys back then. And uh, ACDC and Rush and but the, during all the last many years, I have my favorite group to listen to is uh, 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 Two Steps from Hell. Is that the name of it? Yeah, I love their music. In fact, I listened to their music on a loop the whole time I was reading a uh, long, many, many, many booked series of the... Uh, it was a vampire romance series. I can't think of the name of it now. Uh, it's over there on my shelf, but I can't read it from here. 
it, the last name of the author is Ward. But that's about all I can tell you now. Anyway, I love all kinds of music. I love classical music. Everything. <laughs> and, and the same way with books. Uh, fantasy series is my favorite. And my next favorite is mysteries. Any kind of good writers. Uh, detective series. Uh, uh, black ops. Undercover agents. Stuff like that. There's not a whole lot from my childhood <laughs> that I can remember. <laughs> anyway, this will go in my box and I will, that I will, when I do my New Year's resolution again of responding to all my mail, I'll get you a letter written. Palm, you're from Pomeroy, Ohio? I don't know what part of the state that's in. So I don't know how far it is from me. Whenever I get to have a meet and greet, which I had to cancel the last one I had planned because the stupid pandemic started. But whenever I get to have one, are you close enough that you'd get to come? Okay, this is my last card. This is from Geneva G. This is from New York City. But this is a fantastic card. There's no note in here with it. And I think this is Geneva G. But I want you to look at this card. Isn't that something? Oh, she did write on the back of it. I love this. Let me see if I can open that up enough to read this. This is from Astoria, Queens, in New York City. Hello, Grandma Shirley. Greetings from New York City. I love your videos and your positivity. You are an inspiration and great role model for younger gamers. Geneva. Thank you. This is the most beautiful card. I love pop-up cards anyway. And if I'm a great role model for younger gamers, I hope to goodness it's in a way that makes them play a game like Skyrim with adventure in their soul and not rushing through quest to quest to quest to what they so call beat the game which I don't even understand you can play Skyrim forever there's so many characters to make and there's so many different ways to play it I hope I'm a role model to them in that way thank you Geneva very much this this is one of the most beautiful cards I've gotten ever thank you Now on to what I am totally ashamed of. I have had this here for so long and just having never gotten around to these logs. This gamer takes great photographs and turns them into beautiful posters and he sent me one of his posters with a letter I shall read you his letter first this is from artist Caleb I used to watch him all the time when he played Mist. 
and we used to talk a lot. Um, I, I loved, I loved watching him play. He he's another person that just takes his time and sort of wanders through the game. And uh, but it's it's commentary is what I loved listening to, especially and his laugh. <laughs> I love to hear him laugh. Dear Shirley, I always meant to send you one of my prints as a way of saying thank you for being my friend and always having been so kind to me. The print is called Starlight on Santa Fe. Starlight on Santa Fe. It depicts a real place in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and the cat in the scene was our farm cat named Malky. Your friend, Caleb, a.k.a. Artist Caleb. Oh, I bet you drew this picture at the bottom, too. Did you? Look at that ship on the sea. Thank you, Caleb, so much. And I am so ashamed of myself that I haven't shown this before and replied. All right, guys, I don't know how I'm going to show this to you. It's big. I think I'm going to have to stand up. Oh, crap. Hang on. Uh. Oh, crap. Never mind. Oh, he signed it down at the bottom. My dear friend to Shirley Curry from Caleb. Oh, thank you so much. Look at this beautiful picture. You can see why it's called. St what do you say? It? What starlight on Santa Fe? And see his little cat down there in the bottom, it's sitting there so cute. I don't know how you got it to sit there so still for you to take this picture. I love all the light and shadow play. Thank you so much. My, Caleb, my walls are so full of Skyrim stuff, I have no idea where I would put this. Maybe I can get it mounted and put it in my bedroom. Oh, oh. Maybe I could put it on my hall wall as you come in and walk the hall to the living room. Anyway, I appreciate it very, very much just as well throw it over there where the box went and the last thing is this book by Katie Mack the end of everything astrophysically speaking it says and I will read you the person's note Look what a cute little envelope her, her note's in. <laughs> For Grandma Shirley from Emma. I can't, pr I can't pronounce your last name and your online name. I can't. I can't see it, but I know who Emma is. Oh man, this is so tiny. Let me see if I can get some better light over here. Uh -huh. Dear Grandma, my name is Emma. You've seen me on YouTube as Arcanus and on Twitter as M. Featherweight. I'm a bit behind on your videos. Recently I saw one where you mentioned that you enjoy physics but haven't found a good physics book in a while. That's true. I read 
all the physics books I could find in the libraries for years that were not dumbed down but written so that lay people could understand them they weren't so full of stuff you didn't know what they was talking about as though you had studied it in college or something and I loved reading them and I and it really really turned me on to physics and uh, macrophysics and microphysics and uh, they were all by the well-known uh, physicist at the time. I imagine most of them are dead by now, but other books I read later on still referred to their theories and and their uh, theory solving. But over the years, as more theorists uh, prove or disprove past theories, new theories are developed and uh, and it just continues going on but I cannot find any good books about the latest theories or proving of theories by any new newer physicists but I have subscribed to uh, quantum magazine our website and uh, so I read everything they send me in the on my email but books I just haven't found every time I go in a library I browse the physics shelf and it's just all the same old ones that I already read uh, I know the feeling although I still hope it's not too late for me to pick it up I s I stopped learning about physics in high school see I never studied physics in school I only started reading these books and studying th about physics way after high school there's lots of things I'm interested in that I should have been interested in in school. <laughs> um, let me see. And have done many different things since high school, but I'm trying to make up for lost physics time purely through this book that she sent me. Cosmology is a specific flavor, yes, of physics. Yes, it is, but it's my favorite. The book is written at a level I can understand, but it doesn't feel dumbed down too much. Good, good. I haven't had time to sit down and get into it, but I definitely will. I'm 33 years old and have recently changed careers from being a very unsuccessful <laughs> film producer. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> to being a software engineer. Now see, if uh, all this technology that we have now would have been going on when I was young and in school, I would have definitely, definitely been all over studies regarding computers, software, game development, and all of that. I would have loved to have been in all that. Uh, to being a software engineer. This new path gives me so much more hope. I'm sure. Maybe I can make some of my dreams come true. Help, help humanity explore and understand space. Well, everybody's still trying to understand space. I'm still struggling, but I have so much hope that it feels more like an adventure than a rat race. Good. Life <clears throat> life should be more of an adventure than a rat, rat race. If I had to go to work somewhere where I dreaded going every day, that would that's the most miserable life I could think of. 
You share so many adventures with us. I thought that this could be a way to share my adventure with you. Thank you for all your journeys, Emma. Well, Emma, this was such an interesting note from you, and I love the book you sent me, and I can hardly wait to get a little bit of free time so I can start reading it. This will be a book by my bedside for when I have time to lay there and read. For That's the only time I get to read anymore. So thank you very much. The end of everything. And see, Katie Mack, I don't know who that is. The author is grateful to the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation Public Understanding of Science Program for their generous support for the research and writing of this book. Interesting. The very, the very start of the blurb on the flap says, we know the universe had a beginning, but what happens at the end of the story? Very intriguing. All right, everyone, that's the end of my gifts and mail for today. There was somebody on my YouTube comments, and she said that uh, we should give my walker a name because I mentioned something uh, there about how on Twitter everybody was naming my pink shower cap and someone even drew uh, arms, stick arms and legs on it and it finally got named Bob. <laughs> so I had remarked that I needed, I needed to name my walker over there that red and black thing sitting back there. So this girl came up with a name, but I, I didn't like that one, so she's thinking about some more. So anybody that wants to try to name my walker can uh, leave their comment on my YouTube or on my Twitter page. I should post a picture of it and put it on Twitter and say, name my walker. I'll do that. Okay, grandkids, this is enough for this video, and I will see you the next time. Goodbye, grandkids.